Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Please continue watching for the wisdom and spiritual revelations from the Holy Bible. Jesus Christ, prophet, son of God, the prince of peace, savior and friend, he is known by many names. The verse in Bethlehem of this beloved spiritual master marks the beginning of the Western calendar. So important was his influence on humanity. Lord Jesus taught God's love and forgiveness to all people with open hearts. He is especially loved and remembered because of his sacrifice to cleanse the sins of his disciples and of the world. Three days after his crucifixion, he arose as witnessed by some of his disciples. One of these close disciples was Saint John. Although it is not certain, Saint John the Apostle has been traditionally accepted as the author of the last book in the Holy Bible, Revelation. This book was written at the beginning of a challenging time for the Christian people. Though it is known as a record of inner visions, the book of Revelation is also an encouragement to remain virtuous and faithful in God. Such true believers would surely enter the eternal heavenly kingdom of glory and blessedness of God. Today we continue with the selection from chapter 21 to 22 from the Holy Bible's book of Revelation, where Apostle John takes us on a vivid journey through his visions about the new beginning of God's Eden on a new earth. From chapter 21, a new heaven and a new earth. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake. This is the second death. The New Jerusalem, the Bride of the Lamb One of the seven angels, who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues, came and said to me, Come, I will show you the Bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain, great and high, and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It shone with the glory of God, and its brilliance was like that of a very precious jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with twelve gates, and with twelve angels at the gates. On the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. There were three gates on the east, three on the north, three on the south, and three on the west. The wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The angel who talked with me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city, its gates and its walls. The city was laid out like a square, as long as it was wide. He measured the city with the rod and found it to be twelve thousand stadia in length, and as wide as high as it is long. The angel measured the wall using human measurement, and it was 144 cubits thick. The wall was made of jasper and the city of pure gold, as pure as glass. The foundations of the city walls were decorated with every kind of precious stone. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emerald, the fifth annex, the sixth ruby, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth 
barrel, the ninth topaz, the tenth turquoise, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. The twelve gates were twelve pearls, each gate made of a single pearl. The great street of the city was of gold, as pure as transparent glass. I did not see a temple in the city, because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light, and the Lamb is its Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. On no day will its gates ever be shut, for there will be no night there. The glory and honor of the nations will be brought into it. Nothing impure will ever enter it, nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Chapter 22 Eden Restored Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp, or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign for ever and ever. John and the Angel The angel said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. The Lord, the God who inspires the prophets, sent his angel to show his servants the things that must soon take place. Look, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy written in this scroll. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I had heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, Don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your fellow prophets and with all who keep the words of this scroll. Worship God. Then he told me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this scroll, because the time is near. Let the one who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let the vile person continue to be vile. Let the one who does right continue to do right. And let the holy person continue to be holy. Epilogue, Invitation and Warning Look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, Come, and let the one who hears say, Come, let the one who we thirsty come, and let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this scroll. If anyone adds anything to them, God will add to that person the plagues described in this scroll. And if anyone takes words away from this scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this scroll. He 
who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. Joyful viewers, we are grateful for your company for today's program entitled The End Times from the Book of Revelation, Holy Bible, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. 